All right. First and foremost, giving all praises, glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakadash. A double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect, to the house of David. So y'all say Shalom. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, and verse 1. Woe to them, Salaki. So it's 31. <clears throat> Said, Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushai, that take counsel but not of me, and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. So Yahabashim Yahushai say, Hey, woe to you, you rebellious children, man. With the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You are the children of Israel. You are Yasharala. You are the princes of Yahabashim Yahushai, man. You know? Yahweh chose us out of all nations according to the book of uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, you know. Um, and, and plenty of other scriptures, man. And, and for our for our sins and for our transgression, the Lord sent us, you know, in, in, into servitude, man. He sent us into uh into slavery, man. So that explains, you know, why we're in the situations that we're in, man. Because of the curses of uh, according to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Uh, 15 on down to 68, man, and and 1 through 14 explains the blessings, man, that you will, that, that we will get if, if we adhere and, and and we 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 listen to the voice of the Lord, man. But um, let me read that again. It says, "Woe to the rebellious children." Woe meaning destruction, man, death and destruction. It said, "Woe to the rebellious children," said the Lord, "that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with their covering." But not of my spirit, that they may add sin into sin, man. See, the scripture said we supposed to fear you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai, man? See, we supposed to take counsel. Um, we supposed to take counsel to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai through his prophets that he set up through the men that he set up, man? You know, to bring to bring this knowledge and understanding to you, man. You know, not not the not these false pastors that set up uh by the by the damn Edomites uh through this 501c3, man. You know, that let lead you astray, man. That don't even give you that don't even give you the, 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 the true breakdowns of the scriptures, man. They really don't even go into the scriptures and read the scriptures to you, man. That lean on to their own understanding, man. The scriptures say, hey, he uh the blind lead the blind and to fall into a ditch, man. They both may fall into a ditch, man. Yep. Scripture also said, Woe to him who uh who who uh who mislead his sheep, man. Who lead who lead the flock astray, man. This is the book of um this is the book of 2nd Ezra, this chapter. This is 2nd Ezra 15 and 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, and I will not suffer them now to dwell into the land of Egypt. Man. But that ain't the scripture I wanted to give. The scripture I really wanted was Jeremiah chapter, I think it's 23, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> Jeremiah 23, man, talking about these false, your false leaders, man. Jeremiah 23 and verse, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said the Lord, man. So the scripture said, woe to you pastors, man. Woe to you pastors that's in these church houses, man, and, 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 and that's leading the flock astray, man, you know? Hey, but the, the scriptures also say to deceive and deceive our heels, man. But, but the scripture also says, woe to you, man, destruction to you for leading his flock astray, man, you know? For, for feeding his sheep lies, man, you know? Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said the Lord, man. You destroy and you scatter the sheep, man. Why? Because you don't tell, you don't, you don't give the sheep the necessary, uh, uh, the necessary bread, man. You know, you don't give them the necessary, the, the, the necessary food. You don't feed the sheep, man. You know, you don't give the, the sheep that live in water, man. You know, see, you actually, hey, man, you feel your own belly, man. You know, you, you, you teach with deceit, man. You're you you damn you damn devils, man. Said, um, therefore, thus said the Lord, power of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and have driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, said the Lord, man. 
So y'all about Shmuel Shai said he gonna visit upon you the evil of your doings, man. Telling people that they can uh that, that, that they can eat the uh the, the shrimp, the the crab, the lobster, and all this, and they, the only thing they gotta do is pray over it, man. You know, teaching them that 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 false Jesus Christ, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who, who is not the Messiah, man? Telling them it don't matter what you call the Lord, man. But it don't matter what who you what you call God, man. Only thing you gotta do is just believe, you know, and all your sins are forgiven. That 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 false uh, I'm saved now doctrine. You know what I'm saying? The Lord has come for the whole world. All that. You know what I'm talking about? See, see, basically, hey man, that that and. and and you, you allow your women to speak in the churches, man, you know, in the choirs. You allow women preachers, women deacons, you know. Uh, hey, man, this is just a whole bunch of confusion, man. And you how about Shemiah Shai going to destroy you for that, man? Unless you repent, man. You got to repent, man. Scriptures say repent. Be converted, man. You know what? Let me, let me get that right quick, man. Salaki. This is the book of Acts 3. This is the book of Acts 3 and verse um <clears throat> verse 19. They say, Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. When the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. So you gotta repent, man. You gotta repent. You gotta put away the evil of your doings, man. See, and, and that's what I did. That's typing to the blue letter, man. Uh repent. And uh pulled a few scriptures from on, the, on just the word repent. Um and one is uh let's see. Just go to Mark right quick. This is Mark, what's that, six? <clears throat> Mark six and, I'm gonna start at 10, man. And the point is in 12, but I'm gonna start at 10, man. Um, and he said unto them, In what place soever ye enter into a house, there abide till ye depart from that place. And whosoever shall not receive you nor hear you, when ye depart thence, shake off the dust under your feet for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it should be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. In verse 12, and they went out and preached that men should repent, man. So that was the disciples that were sent out to do, man. They were, they was, they were sent out to teach repentance, man. This is the book of Matthew chapter 5. I think it's, ten, I think it's 5. Matthew 5. No, it's Matthew 10. We'll get Matthew 10 and verse 12, man. Uh, These 12 Yahweh Shah sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. But go ye rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, saying, Go to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And as you go, uh, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. So, Hey, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. So therefore, repent, man. You got to repent, man. If you want to make it to the kingdom on the first go around, man, you got to repent, man. At least you're going to come through, uh, at least you're going to come through the lawns of the elect, man. And you're going to have to be reborn to the kingdom of heaven, man. You're going to have to die on this side, man. Scripture says you're going to have to dwell in torments, man.
This is the book of um in the same book, Matthew 3 and verse 1. In those days, John the Baptist preached in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. So that's all that's all the disciples teach, man. Repentance, man. And if the law is done away with, why should you have to repent, man? And that's another thing you pastors gotta uh you gotta you gotta pay for, man. You gotta pay because you teach the you teach the flock that the law is done away with, man. And that you don't have to keep the laws anymore, man. But you keep the but you keep the Ten Commandments, man. Right? See that that's controversial. That, that, that's controversial to itself, man. That's 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 confusion, man. According to the book of, of the Corinthians, hey, they say that uh, the Lord our power is not a, he's not a God, of, he's not the author of confusion, man. Which you you pastors are, man. You are authors of confusion, man. <clears throat> this is um You know what? See, I'm gonna go back. Go back to the book of Jeremiah, man. And I would even, I would even gonna get on this, but this is the way the Spirit has me to go, man. But it said, um. This is verse 3. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where I had driven them, and I will bring them again to their foes, and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will shut up separate shepherds over them, and which, which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, said the Lord. Man. So the Lord going to set up true shepherds, man. The one that lead the flock, you know, down that straight and narrow, man. You know what I'm saying? See? Because Christians say, hey, broad is the way to destruction, but narrow, narrow, narrow is the way to eternal life, man. That straight road, man. That straight gate, man. See, when you repent, hey, the Lord, the Lord covers you when you repent, man. The Lord look out on you when you repent, man. Once, once you once you acknowledge your power, you how about some y'all shy? There's nothing that this damn devil could do to you, man. You don't have to fear no more, man. Because as long as we got to fear you, how about some y'all shy? We ain't got to fear the devil, man. Because the scriptures say, hey, fear not him that are able to destroy both, uh, I mean, slack Fear not him that are able to destroy the, the body and not the soul. Rather fear him that is able to destroy both the soul and the body in hell, man. So we got to fear you, how about some y'all shy, man. And the fear you, how about some y'all shy is the beginning of wisdom, man. Let the scriptures tell it, man. This is the book of. I'm gonna go to the book of Proverbs. Man. See, we gotta trust in your about Shemiah Osha, man. We gotta have faith. Have faith in your about Shemiah Osha, man. Because having faith in your about Shemiah Osha is putting on that covering of your about Shemiah Osha, man. The Lord covers us, man. He covers us with His Spirit, man. Why? Because we we walk in our faith. We walk in faith with your about Shemiah Osha, which is a gift, man. Faith is a spiritual gift. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 1 and verse, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So like it, the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Skip it down to verse 14. Cast in thy lot among us, let us have one purse. So, my son, walk not thou in the way with them and reframe thy foot from their path, man. Meaning we got to separate from the wicked of our people, man. We got to separate from wickedness, man. Why? Because we don't want to get caught up in that, man. Scriptures, hey, the birds of the feather flock together, man. You don't want to flock with, with fucking wickedness, man. You don't want to flock with wicked ass people, man. You want to try your best to surround yourself with righteous and brothers that, that fear the Lord, man. You know, I'm down here. I'm in, I'm in Mississippi. But, you know, I got to drive all the way to, 
I gotta drive to Jackson to fellowship with brothers, man. I'm 100 miles away. And I, I make them when I can, but you know, I mean, I don't really have people that I can, you know, fellowship with here. So I, I'm basically, I mean, I'm, I'm basically always alone, man. <clears throat> Verse 20. Now, I'm gonna go to 16. My son, verse 15, my son, walk not in the way with them and refrain thy foot from their path, for their feet run to evil and they make haste to shed blood. Yeah, man. Our people, our people are swift. They, they quick to run their wickedness, man. Run their evil, man. Let a fight break out, shootings and shit like this, man. People, our people quick to run to that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, um, and say they, they, uh, and, and they make haste, haste to shed blood, man. Our people love to shed blood. Our people, according to the curses, because of the curses, our people, hey, our people are against each other, man. Oh, we fight each other, man. Verse 20, wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the, uh, verse 21, she cried in the chief place of conquerors, man. In the openings of the gates in the city, she uttered her words saying, man. So the scriptures say, a wisdom cried in the streets, man. In the chief place of, uh, of conquerors, man. In the openings of the gates, man. Those, those brothers those brothers that you see with the long garments down, you know, with the long garments on, that's out on the street corners preaching, prophesying in the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, telling you that the white man is the damn devil and all these nations going into slavery. They're going to serve Israel and the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans or the, 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 true, the true children of, the, uh, of Yasharala, man. The sons of the Most High, hey man, that is wisdom crying out, man, and telling you Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is gonna rain nuclear missiles on this place, man, and telling you that America's Babylon the Great, you know, and telling you and giving you the true the true breakdown, the proper breakdowns, man, and telling you who you are according to the scriptures and exposing your enemies, man. That is wisdom crying out, man, telling you to repent, man, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man, telling you America is Babylon the Great, man, telling you that we in the last days, man, which is it's obvious, man. Telling you what we have about Shai require of you. That's wisdom, man. And it would be more wise, it would be even wise to take heed and to take counsel of those brothers, man. Because they are sent through the spirit of Yahweh Shai through the Rakakul Dash, man. Because the scriptures say the spirit, the Holy Spirit, uh, 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 reveals unto us all things, man. Giving us the knowledge of, uh, uh, of of what we in, man. Giving us the spirit, man. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, verse 22, How long ye simple ones when you love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge, man. How long you simple niggas gonna love uh, your women ruling over you, man, and you not being the head of your damn house, man. How long you simple people gonna love your children running over you, man? How long you simple ass people gonna love to hear that Jesus is Lord, Jesus, 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 man? Forgive me, Father. Hey, scriptures tell us make the J word, man. Make not mention of these other gods, man, which is a false ass, which is a false ass, a false fake ass Messiah, man, which is not even the Messiah, man. He's not the anointed, he's not Hamashiach. Hamashiach is Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Shah, man, the only begotten, man. The, the first the first spirit created man a so-called negro man from the tribe of judah man yahweh died man and scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge see niggas love niggas love wickedness man they're scorning and foolish them and, and, and scoffing scoffing and mockery man niggas love that niggas delight in that man Niggas, niggas is all out wicked, man. Niggas don't want to hear nothing, nothing real, man. Niggas, you bring this out to the table, you bring the Holy Bible to, uh, in a, you want to hold a conversation with a nigga, you got to talk about worldly stuff, man. Because as soon as you talk, you start talking about the Holy Scriptures, man, hey, niggas just sway away, man. Niggas don't want to hear nothing about the Lord, man. Let you, let you say the Lord, Lord's willing, man. Hey, man, niggas don't want to hear, listen, man, you want a nigga to get out your face, you just bring up the Bible, man. That's the only thing you gotta do, man. Cause our people don't want anything to do with you. How about some y'all shot, man? 
And those are the people that you how about some y'all shot don't want them to do it, man. You how about some y'all shot gonna kill them niggas, man. Let them niggas repent, man. Turn you at my reproof. This is verse 23. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, and I will make known my words unto you. So the scripture said, hey, he pouring out his spirit unto us in these last days, man. Through the Rakakadash, man. And he, and he is making known his words to us through the elder apostles, man. You know? And, and the brothers on down, man. And he's, making, and he's making his words known unto you, man. Whether you're going to take heed or cast them away. Hey, that's up to that's up to you. How about some y'all shot? Whether he, whether he want to open your your uh open your mind and understanding or not, man. To get this knowledge, man. Because you how about some y'all shot? May not want you, man. You how about some y'all shot? He may wait till the last, you know, to the last minute to convert you, man. But for a lot of you niggas, hey, it's gonna be too late, man. You gonna come seeking the prophets, man. You go you gonna come seeking the men of the Lord. You have, many of you how about some y'all shot? But guess what? You're not gonna find him in you. How about some y'all shot, man? You're gonna be turned away, man. Yep. When you want that shelter and you want and, and you want that uh that covering, psh, hell no, man. It's gonna be too late for you, man. You're gonna have to go to Esau. You're gonna have to go to Egypt for help, man. And it's gonna be war to you. It's gonna be destruction to your ass, man. Yeah. Cause hey, these devils, they coming down, man. These devils, they gonna come down on your ass with great wrath, man. See, my, my people destroy for the lack of knowledge, man. But because my people reject knowledge, man. Hosea 4 6. Scripture say you reject knowledge, so therefore the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah, is going to reject you, man. See, now's the time to get this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding why, why the gates of mercy are still open, man. Why the gates of repentance is open. The doors of repentance is open unto you, man. <clears throat> Verse 24. Because I have called, and how the Lord called, the Lord called through his prophets, through his men, the ones who telling you that Yahweh, Yahweh meaning he is, Bahashem, meaning in the name Yahweh Shah, meaning which is the only begotten son of the most high Yahweh, which his name means he saves Yahweh Shai, right? He's making his name, he, he's making his words known unto you, man. He said, because I have called, because he's calling you, man. The scriptures also say many is called, but only few will be chosen, man. See, and we gotta and we, we gotta do our due diligence, you know. And we gotta we, we gotta man, we gotta do this work, man. Yep. And we got to pray, man. We got to pray that we part of the elect, man. And we got to repent, man. That's the thing about it. That's the key thing about it, man. We got to repent and have faith because only through faith are you going to repent, man. Only through faith will you repent, man. He said, um, <clears throat> but I have, because I have called and ye refuse, see, Hosea 4 and 6, because you reject knowledge. You refuse. You refuse to get you, you refuse to hear the prophets, man. Or you, 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 you put it off from day to day, man. You know what I'm saying? Scripture said, make, uh, make no tearing to turn to the to the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, because hey, sudden destruction to come up on your ass, man. The Lord will kill you before you even before you repent, man. And I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. I, but you, but ye have sought at naught all my counsel, man, and with none of my reproof. You don't want to take correction. You don't want to. You don't want to be told. You don't want to be told that um, hey, the Lord don't want us eating catfish, man. The Lord don't want us eating seafood, pork. Oh, that's one of the biggest ones. Well, another big one is the seafood, the shrimp, the crab, lobster. You know, the seafood dinners and shit, man. You know. The, the, crab legs and shit this the, what they call the delicacies man and, and the goddamn pork man you don't want to be told you can't eat that shit man and you got these country ass jakes these these, these niggas want to eat coon and squirrel and shit man fucking gator man you can't eat that shit man that's a goddamn abomination man you can't eat that shit man yeah it, it's clearly it's clearly uh, written in the Leviticus, I think the 11th chapter, telling us what we, what we can eat and what we cannot eat, man. It tells us what we can eat that's on the land, and it tells us what we can eat, which is in the seas, man, in the rivers, man. Which is in the waters, man. We can't, it, it, it clearly break all that down to you, man. And it, it clearly tells us we cannot eat the swine, man, which is the damn pork. Scripture tell us we can't even touch the pork once it's dead, man. We can't touch the goddamn pig. 
The pig is an abomination, man. It's an abomination to you. Isaiah 66 and 15. The scripture tell you, hey, uh, the Lord coming with fire, man. And his, and his um uh, and his chariot is like a whirlwind, man. Let me get that right quick, man. And I'll come right back to that Proverbs, man. See, but the scriptures say my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because they reject knowledge. Once again, man. They, re they reject the Lord, so the Lord gonna reject them. Because the scripture said the uh the multitude was created in vain, man. They was created to be destroyed on this side, man. But what the scriptures also said, this world was created for many, but the world to come for few, man. Isaiah 66 and 15. Before I get that, I'm going to get this right here. Verse, um, Isaiah 66 and verse 65. Miss Lucky, 65 and 1. I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, behold me, behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name. I have spread out my hands all the day to a rebellious people which walketh in the way that was not good after their own thoughts. A people that provoked me to anger continually to my face, that sacrificed in the gardens and burned incense upon altars of brick, which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments and which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things is in their vessels. See? See? You eat all that abominable all that abominable shit, man. Isaiah 66 and 15, man. I'm going to go ahead and get it, man. You know what? Let me get this right here quick, real quick. Isaiah 6, 65 and um, verse 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and you shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, you did not answer, and when I spake, you did not hear. But did evil before my eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Therefore, thus said the Lord Power, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for a sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. See? See, the Lord said, hey, he finna fuck you niggas up, man. Scripture say, hey, he, the Lord said his servant is finna eat, man. While you starving and, and you don't know how to, you can't provide for your family, you can't feed your children. The men of the Lord is going to rejoice, man. The scripture say we're going to rejoice. The Lord going to give us an abundance, what the scripture says, man. The Lord said he's going to give us an abundance, man. We're going to have more than enough, man. You know? While, while you thirsty and uh and dehydrated, the Lord is going to give us water, man. The Lord is going to provide for us, man. Why? Because... Lord William poured a number, man. Scripture say, hey, but we don't we don't supposed to boast, man. But hey, man, Lord William, Yahweh Rata Zah, that mean that mean Yahweh willing. Hey, man, we we part of the elect, man. We we praying to be part of. We praying that Yahweh Shmuel Shai have mercy upon us, man. When we we praying that we be part of. We we found that we uh, uh, uh we praying that we be found uh. Uh, worthy man, you know Worthy to be the be uh be called the servants of the Lord man And the scripture said we're gonna sing for joy, but you shall but you shall cry for uh You shall cry for sorrow of heart man and shall howl for vexation of spirit Why because you chose that which the Lord did not delight in man You, you chose to go away you chose to lean on your own understanding and do things you wanted to do the way you wanted to do. Live your own life. You only got one life to live, right? You know, so live it to the fullest and to the best of your abilities, right? But you didn't want to have you didn't want to uh, put your habashim y'all shot in it, man. You didn't want to have him first, man. You didn't want to serve the Lord, man. You want to continue. You want to do things that was gonna fit the way you wanted the things to go, man.
That's why scripture tells us to cry aloud and spare not and lift up our voice like a trumpet and show his people his tra their transgressions, man. And in, in the house of Jacob, their sins. Why? So they can repent, man. We're supposed to, we supposed to give you the, the judgments of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot, man. But hey, you say, we can't judge, man. You say, can't nobody judge me. No, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is the ultimate judge, but we are here to give you the warning uh, and tell you what's going to happen to you if you don't repent. That's it, man. But the scriptures say, hey, the thing about it is, but the elect are the judges, 144,000. We are judges as well, man. See, because the scripture said we're going to sit upon 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel, man. We're going to judge the earth, man. The scripture said, hey, he going to turn his fishes into hunters, man. It's a thing. We are the judges, man. And we're going to get down and dirty, too. You know what I'm talking about? Shit, we're going to be turned into hunters, man. The scripture said we the battle axes of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot, man. Lord willing, we the number, man. We the, we the battle axes, man. We the Lord's weapons, man. Right along with the angels, man. And these death spirits. And Esau Edom, which is the Lord's sword, man. But here, we getting down on, we getting down on Esau Edom. Why? Right? Because Esau Edom was created just to beat the wicked, man. And to be a sword against his people, man. You know? To, to be a sword against Yasharana, against Israel, man. But we all know Esau is the goddamn devil, man. But yeah, this is um now getting to Isaiah uh, 66 and 15, man. <clears throat> Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebukes with flames of fire. See, the Lord coming to kill, man. The Lord, hey, you don't believe that? Here you go, right here. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many, man. The slain, the Lord gonna be many. Those who are, those who will be put to death by the Lord will be many. That's what that says, man. A, 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 ain't no way around it, man. Verse seventeen: They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst. Eating, eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouth shall be consumed together, said the Lord. And we all know it's an abomination. What things that the Lord don't like not in, man. See, and and um and, and it tells you what all the abominations are in the book of Leviticus 11, man. Anything outside of that is an abomination to you. How about Shemiah Shai, man? If you alphabet people, man, you're an abomination to you. How about Shemiah Shai, man? Men on men is abomination of Yahweh Shemiah Shai. You will be put to death. Women on women, you will be put to death, man. See, the Lord gonna have mercy on who he chooses to have mercy on. And the Lord basically tell you who he gonna have mercy on, man. Those who do in the will of Yahweh Shemiah Shai. Those who keep the faith. You know what I'm saying? Those who he uh, called in this thing and those who endure to the end, man. See, because the promise was given to Jacob, but not everybody register, registers Jacob, man. Not everybody registers Israel because they don't want nothing to do with Israelite thing, man. This Israelite thing of ours, man. They don't want nothing to do with it, man. So they, they rather be, they rather continue to be niggas. See, pretty soon Jacob's trouble, Jacob's trouble is coming, man. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter one. I'm gonna get it out the, out the scriptures. Zephaniah 1 and verse 
verse 14. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasten it greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty men shall cry there bitterly. Verse 15. That day is a day of wrath and a day of trouble and distress and a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of a day of the trumpet, an alarm against let me read that again, it's like it. A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men, and they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against the Lord, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and all flesh as dung. Verse 18. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. And, and that's literal too, man. The fire of the Lord's jealousy, man, because the scriptures say the Lord created the smith that blows the wall. Uh, let me, excuse me. It's lucky. Let me get this right quick, man. And that's in the book of Jeremiah 50, no, that's 50, uh, Isaiah 54. <clears throat> and finish this and I get that. For he shall make even a speedy riddance, riddance of, of all them that dwell in the land. I'm going to get verse 2 right quick. I'm in chapter 2 and verse 1. It says, gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together, O nation not desired. Before the decree bring forth before the day pass as a chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. It says, Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger, man. So you're gonna want you're gonna want that protection in the day of the Lord's anger, man, because the scripture said, Woe unto you that uh that that, that um uh, Let me get that too. Well, unto you that desire the day of the Lord, man. For what end is it to you? So the scriptures say the day of the door is a, the day the day of the Lord is a day of darkness and not light. He said there is no light in it, man. Whoa. That desire the day of the Lord. Verse Amos 5 and 18. <clears throat> Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is, a, is darkness and not light as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand upon the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be be darkness and not light even very dark and no brightness in it all right man so the day of the lord is gonna be darkness man the day of all hell breaking news man the day of chaos man a day of judgment a day of mass death you know also a day of salvation for the elect though man but hey hey but for the majority man hey man the day of the lord hey man Hey, man, that's all I can do, man. Hey, and the Lord said he's going to make a speedy readiness of you, man. You niggas might have to eat missiles, man. You niggas going to have to eat missiles, man. Because that's going to be the only, that's the only remedy for you niggas, man. You niggas can't be fixed on this side, man. Verse, um, I'm going to get verse 21. I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assembly. Though they offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them, neither will I regard the peace of offerings of your fat beasts. Take away thou the, uh, away from me the laws of thy songs, and I will not hear the melody of thy vows. But let judgment run down as waters, and righteousness as a mighty stream. Scripture said, hey, 
the Lord don't give a damn about your feast days, man. He don't give a damn about your Christmas, your Thanksgiving, your yo Easter, none of that shit, man. The Lord don't give a damn about these holidays, man. Your feast days. The Lord don't give a fuck about that shit, man. The Lord said, take away from you the, the songs, these damn songs. Uh, uh, take away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vowels, man. If you ain't singing this song right here, telling, hey, the Lord is bringing uh, deliverance to the, and salvation to the elect, man, you, you ain't saying nothing, man. You ain't singing nothing, man. The Lord don't want to hear that. If you ain't singing a song in the true doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, which is the, the true song, which which the elect is singing, you not, man, the Lord don't want to hear that, man. The Lord is speaking to you. Have you offered me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness 40 years, old house of Israel? Talking about the old Israel. I mean, you know, the, the, the us back in the days, man. But, but now, hey, we're in the last days, man. In the scripture, Matthew 2 and 4, um, uh, 3 on down, man. Tell you what was going to be happening in the last days, man. And I say that for another lesson, man. But, yeah. So with all that being said, man, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakadash. A hey, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect, man. And Baba Ball, man. Baba Ball. Shalom.